Hello, um, today I will show you um, an application of the differential evolution. Um, differentiation, differential evolution is very popular today um, the, because it's simple and the effectiveness and can directly be used in the uh, continuous problem. Um, I, I say it's simple um, because you say from the code, uh, this is the code I wrote, um, the, on, your, the only parameter you, you have to manipulate is the f, the mutation factor, and the crossover rate. Um, so, um, compare with the ge genetic algorithms, have many, many parameters you must to handle, so for differential evolution, it's very simple. And uh, today I will show an um, application of the this restricting function, this is um, uh, one of the benchmark functions to test the, the algorithms. You can say uh, this is a very complicated, and its xi is um, from minus 5.12 to minus to 5.12. So the uh, minimum point is 0, 0, 0, and the value is 0. So first, I will show you um, the picture of this function because uh, the uh, picture can visualize it. So here, uh, this is a function to plot this restructuring functions. So we'll run this program. So as I will room in. So as you you see, this uh, restructuring function is has um, many many. Um, no co optimals. So this point, this this point are, are um, all of them is no co optimal point. So for some um, traditional method such as the direct search, they are very easy to trap in those uh, local optimals. So uh, so I will show this picture in the this way. So as we can see. And the local out mode at the zero zero point. So I will use the uh, I will first close this and I will run this function to um, optimize this. So um, the parameter you need to change is here the number of variables. So um, in in our situation the uh, variable only have two. So this is two and you have to change this value. Uh, it's their boundary, the upper boundary, and the lower boundary. And uh, um, use and put the function name here. So in the future, you may you can use you can create your uh, your own function here. And uh, the maximum the this parameter you need to change because it's uh, this value is um, pragmatic value, so you need to change it. And the IMAX, this, this you can change if your problem is very complicated, you can change it to a larger value, uh, for example, 1000. And this, this, this parameter is your, the number of the test times. So uh, for the algorithm, you, if you want to test if it is robust, yeah, you, you, you are going to test it uh, many, many times, for example, um, 30 times. So you just directly set it as 30. So it will run 30 times. Okay, so that's all about the parameters. So we'll uh, run for it. Okay, there are two figures. Uh, the third figure shows um, the iteration histories. As you can see, about the uh, 30 iterations, the um, fitness value goes to the zero. So it means it finds the global optimal point. And this this picture shows, and I use the red point, do you notice it? The red point it shows the global value of this point. So we can say by this way, we can say this red point is right at the, that global point, zero, zero. So um, that's all about our optimization work. And I already upload all these algorithms to the masterworks so you just to uh, um, search in the Google and you can find this file and directly download it. It's totally free. Thank you.